Sleeping quarters? Nah, it's got none. You're gonna have to sleep when you're dead. Maybe in the hall of the slain while attached to a goat's nipple. <laughs> Viking invaders believed that to die in battle was honourable and great rewards awaited them in the afterlife. That afterlife is known as Valhalla, also known as the Hall of the Slain, where warriors walk among the Norse gods, including the greatest of them all, Odin. Valhalla is said to have golden shimmering towers, a roof thatched from shields and rafters made from spears. Inside, warriors feast on the flesh of a boar slaughtered daily and made whole again each evening. They drink alcohol from the udders of a goat. They even fight each other every day just for the sport of it. Now, I'm not really sure about this goat thing. Personally, when I'm in heaven, there's a couple of other udders I'd like to be drinking from. But anyway, the boat we're testing today is also called Valhalla. What do they have in common other than a cool name? Well, I wouldn't mind a ride in both. Viking yachts are the team that birthed this baby. They wanted Viking quality in a pocket-sized battleship, so Valhalla Boatworks was born. In 2018, they hooked up with renowned yacht designer Michael Peters and got to work on a high-performance center console using Michael's painted double-stepped hull design. Today, Viking reckon Valhalla are the finest center consoles that money can buy. They obviously haven't been in the nub tub. So wanna go for a ride on the Valhalla? Bring me a goat. <laughs> the Valhalla 37 pushes the boundaries of speed and performance. And why the hell not? Who has the time and money to sit on a million dollar flybridge in Cairns when this thing can take you to where you want to go at three times the speed? With a range of more than 400 nautical miles at 40 knots, the Valhalla will get you all the way from Sydney to the Gold Coast in less than eight hours, traveling at 55 knots. Ryan Short of Short Marine did just that on an epic day trip with mates, encountering pods of whales, making it into Sydney Harbour for sunset beers on the same day. Insane. These 400 horsepower, supercharged, six cylinder white stallions push the boat along to more than 60 knots. That's more than 100 kilometers an hour for you non nautical folk. It's one of the most stunning boats we've stepped aboard. Valhalla borrowed some of the Viking DNA that's been around since the 60s. There's a distinctive bow with a gently sloping shear line, double forward chines, elegant helm pod, and a tumble home transom. The step to V ventilation tunnel is designed to reduce drag by forcing air under the hull, reducing the wetted surface. Less drag equals higher speed and better fuel efficiency. The tunnel on the aft planing surface helps with directional stability, not dissimilar to a keel. It's kind of handy when you're doing the pub to pub run across Sydney Harbour in the ferry's wake, with a sober pilot, of course. The composite construction features a resin infused stringer grid and a mix of solid and foam cord layups on the hull and deck, all the ingredients of a modern saltwater machine. Downstairs, you'll find an electric head, sink, shower, and lockable rod storage, plus room for a goat, but certainly no Vikings. The Valhalla 37 has a super sweet and practical console configuration. Less is more is the design approach at the helm, where the T-top of the dash sits only 130 centimeters high, offering an unimpeded view of the deck and beyond. The skipper takes the central position behind a stainless steel steering wheel. Ahead is a set of Garmin 17 inch multi-function displays set on a black panel and a tidy row of backlit switches. The three wide helm features bolstered release chairs with teak accents, each seat with its own electric slider. I gotta say, I'm loving this blend of modern contemporary with classic styling. The detail in this hardtop is pure artwork, including flush mounted lights, molded radar pod for better functionality, hand cake styles teaser reels and molded overhead pod for the stereo, radios and a sea keeper head unit. The pantograph style door on the port side of the console is gas assisted with a notched out piece for the headroom. The gas strut allows the door to stay open when at sea, so no banging your head when you're grabbing a fresh lure bag. Forward of the console is more dry storage as well as an insulated cooler that can double as a raised live bait tank for fishing from the bow. In total, there are five built-in storage areas that can be plumbed to serve as kill tanks. At the bow, you'll find these long lounges complete with a release marine backrest.
GG Schmidt transom seats can be flipped up and out of the way when it's time to fish. The aft facing mezzanine seat has yet another insulated cooler box and tackle drawers on the side. The beauty of this combination is you can sit in the cockpit and face fore or aft. There's a port side dive door with a nice gate and a door that opens and locks at 180 degrees. A 212 litre eye bait sits in the transom. Flow is operated from the glove box in the helm. Now below deck, a Seakeeper 3 is integrated into the resin infused structural grid and accessed through a gasketed, tightly sealed deck hatch. If you haven't experienced one of these puppies, you don't know what you're missing out on. This huge hatch gives access to the lazarette and bilge area. Inside is a polished stainless steel fuel manifold system where the skipper can pull from any of these three fuel tanks. There's 1,880 litres total capacity. All right, so we've just stepped off the Valhalla and oh my God, what an incredible boat. But at over a million dollars to go to Viking heaven, is it worth it? We're down here at Short Marine. We're gonna have a look around and see what else we can get for a cheeky mill. All right, so first on the million dollar hit list here, we've got the Grady White 376. Now, like the Valhalla, this Grady has an exceptional yank finish. She's the same length, but it's almost a metre wider at more than four metres. The generous beam offers more than 5.5 square metres of deck space and even has a double bed that converts to a lounge. The Valhalla doesn't even have anywhere to lie down. Hmm, tempting. She's also very nice and roomy down in the galley too. Unfortunately, this fat beam costs us dearly in the speed stakes. She's only good for 40 knots, only two thirds the speed of the Valhalla. And let's be honest, the Valhalla definitely has her covered in the looks department. All right, now we've found ourselves on an Asagai 44. This is a 2006 model and it's worth about 1.2 mil. Now on this boat, we could be on the reef for a week. We could have five mates on board. And if we weren't there, we could have it charted out and it could be making us money when we're not fishing on it. That is definitely a plus. She's currently for sale and the advert reads, all berths are fitted with the softest bamboo cotton sheets and pillows. Now you're talking our language. How about a custom kitchen where your gourmet meals will be prepared? Yes, please. But can we afford to run this big girl for even just a day's king fishing? Probably not. What do we have here? It's the captain's Black Watch 26. Now this baby's a 2002 model and she's, although she's 11 foot shorter than the Valhalla, she punches well above her weight. We picked this thing up for about 70 grand, if I can remember correctly. And I don't know, the Valhalla 37 or about 15 black watches. You could give all your mates one of these and you could be cruising. I don't know, that's a, that's a tough call. So the Valhalla, I don't think I'll ever be able to look at a boat the same way ever again after riding on that thing. The cameraman, Nick, his son, Tex, also came along today and it was his first day out in a center console boat. So I don't think boats are ruined for him forever. At one point he lost his hat he had this huge smile on his face and he almost went flying as well. My hat flew off. Don't have that anymore. <laughs> At 53 knots, I thought there was a 50-50 chance of me living. Now, if you want something that's incredibly fast, ridiculously sexy, the Valhalla is for you. It's the AC Cobra of the sea. She's light on creature comforts, but big on performance. So pack your handbag and a small goat and we'll see you in Viking heaven. Meh. <laughs>